welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're going to talk about the difference between concealment and cover. Now, I'm about to show you a short little video clip from a recent One Shepherd uh, FTX exercise. And in this situation, the team is running to a structure to find a place to establish cover and uh, make a defense. However, they need to screen themselves so they can try to get there without the enemy observing them. So they throw some smoke grenades, and as you can see, they got pretty good coverage with the smoke. However, there's things to learn from this about the difference between cover and concealment. Let's take a look at the clip. Alright, you see that guy got steamrolled pretty hard. Now, why am I using this clip in a concealment versus cover video? Simple. That guy was completely obscured. The person who ran into him didn't see him. You didn't see him in the video. The smoke did its job perfectly. But what the smoke didn't protect him from was getting hit. Now, I'm going to show the clip again, but this time when you watch it, imagine instead of a person running into that's a bullet. after looking at it from the point of view of, oh, that was a bullet hitting the guy instead of just somebody else running into him, changes the perspective a bit and really illustrates the point. That smoke provided great concealment. Nobody clearly saw the guy. However, it provided absolutely no protection against uh, incoming projectiles or even another incoming warrior. So that's something to bear in mind. Smoke and other types of concealment can do just that. It can hide you, but it cannot protect you. You know, a lot of times, just thick branches on a tree and lots of overhanging leaves and vines will conceal you, but they won't stop a bullet at all. You know, for cover, you've got to have something hard. Layers and layers of sandbags, concrete walls, the engine block of a car. That's cover, because you can get into, get behind it, whatever, and it'll stop impacts from certain size projectiles. Now, obviously, the type of projectile you're getting hit uh, with determines how effective the cover is. And that's a story for another time. We hope you found this video about the difference between concealment and cover helpful, informative, and interesting. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And tune in for future Training Scar videos.